the wokeism cauldron has finally finished and bubbled up. The lid's been lifted off. What's in there doesn't smell very nice or look very appetizing. What woke culture was, it, it's had a few meanings. The first meaning was to be alert to the police in the 1930s for black people. There was another meaning later in the 60s and early 70s, it, as in it actually in academia. And then it's come out now and it's in CRT, which is teaching everyone that the world is a nasty place and people to blame on white people uh, who enslaved everybody and we're responsible for all global slavery even though there's 50 million slaves today. I have been watching this scene for almost as long as Jordan Peterson. I was in the original. I've been predicting this quite accurately for a number of years. I am a professional psychologist, so that's I'm, I'm retired, I had an accident meant I can't work. So this, once I've grieved for that loss of a rewarding career, this is what I do for a living. Excuse that noise. So, a particularly a trauma therapist so PTSD high level anxiety disorder orders that's my speciality now what's happened here and we have to really take it very seriously is foreign money or well inappropriate money and foreign money has flowed into our education establishment for nearly 20 years and it's been under certain conditions in some parts where in with some donations that they teach a certain thing in their syllabus so by the time they get to university level they're, be, they're mainly being taught about marxism socialism communism and victimhood and being oppressed and they're always the oppressed they act but they act like the bully they are the real bully in the room they don't know it but they're always oppressed i mean there's this one girl who goes out to dinner sets her phone up to record somebody calling her sir then so she can complain about it and get him sacked and then at some point during every video she says it's like a knife to my heart every time they say sir I was like, why are you going out setting up your TikTok for meals on your own? What are you expecting? You're expecting it. It's in, that's entrapment. And here, where we now have, it's now 2S, LGBTQQ+, IA, and I, I can't always get it right. So 2S starts that movement officially now, LGBT. No one, no one did any counselling with the LGB movement, which is why I've started quick Gays for Palestine, just to highlight how ridiculous ridiculous it is because if any of these colored college protesters that we've been watching violently if they've broken the law uh frankly they need to pay the consequences you knew you put your scholarship on the risk you knew you put yourself at risk of losing student loans you were all there's no with that everywhere in social media there's no way you could not have known that it's not all the kids they've been taught and radicalized and indoctrinized in many cases and what was the t has taken over the lgbt movement but you can now be you have micro identities right, which are sub identities under your main identity now that there's a logical basis for that it's called parts theory uh, it's applicable to all human beings but you, it's not an identity do you act differently around a policeman than you do your mum yeah then you've got a part part of you that acts differently in certain situations that's what it is but rather than figure life out on their own they've been filled with anger specifically at, at the white heterosexual male but they've been filled with anger given incorrect historical facts barely any of them had heard of stalin or mao's regime um yet they're teaching them communism is the best way but this has been happening for years guys it's just been ramping up recently in england we've luckily stopped a little bit but in america it has to be done state by state the worst parts the, the trans thing to me it seems like an addiction it really does it does and it presents uh, is it, oh, but I do a lot of work on addiction and I'm currently writing a book on it. So it is preferable than... It's an explanation, let's put it that way. In the beginning... There was the LGBT movement, okay? Sat comfortably for a long time. For as far as England goes, we were not opposed to gay marriage. We didn't. We weren't homophobic. We're not. We're pretty liberal. We, as far as I think we're the most liberal city, uh, country there is, really. Certainly, uh, the demographics would show that. So then when the, when queer theory comes into it, which is part of the transgender issue, is that you can't be happy unless you're some type of queer. So they took the insult. From the, that was used to homosexuals. No, didn't consult them again. I, I am consulting my gay friends about this. We're trying to start 
uh, fake gaze past side movement. But um, it's not, it isn't a laughing matter. They are picking up. With this person with micro identities, they said, they also, so how many micro identities can you have? And she said, it's endless. It's like, so every two identities and micro identities, how many identities? Put, please put a figure to it. One, two, whatever you like. One, a hundred, I don't care. How many identities can a person have? And this person answered, two billion, maybe, maybe three. As if they were giving a building quote. Uh, it's a delusion, but it's based on what they've been taught. And of course, they're going to come up against opposition if they come out of the uh, stalls, you know, punching, fight, ready to go. You know, it's not going to... We're, we're behind on this. Our educational systems in Europe and the, and the US need massive reform. But a lot of these kids are not... They're picking a lot of these genders mean that you're not men, or men or women. So I don't know what this is about, but they're, they're changing them. Neo pronouns. They couldn't make something make sense with all the pronouns we have and the 72 they added. Now they have neo ones, which are new ones. They get to make up. You don't have to, you don't get to know what they are and just, and they don't even run singularly. And plurally, they can choose from different sets. It's a strange complex. It is a fantasy land. Beautiful young people have been put through this and turned out to look like... I mean, the Eurovision contest, uh, song contest this year is a perfect example. Look like devils or... You know, and it's almost about who can outdo each other and be the most outrageous type of woke trans person really make the biggest statement. And I honestly think that this is an addictive thing. I honestly think that this is people... People who are not sure about their identity, not willing to let anyone else involved in the debate. It's a big bad sign, a terrible sign for life. And constantly latching onto new things. They haven't got any attention span whatsoever. And it's a big problem. It is, as far as our culture wars go, this culture war with wokeism has to be won. Otherwise, we will not have a culture we want to live in. I can't stress that highly enough. If you've just jumped on the bandwagon, it's been going on for a very long time. And I've been here front row seat every day, seven days of the week. I don't literally work alcohol. <laughs> I said alcoholically, but that's not a, I'm not, I don't drink. I work, um, uh, what's your name? Addictively. Um, so yeah, it's a very difficult complex and, um, I'm gonna leave it. And I really do think it's a form of a mental illness. It was declassified by the World Health Organization in 2019. And I would reclassify it if I had my way because it, Look what we've seen since. It's banal. It's slightly insane. It doesn't work. It won't work in society. We can't have a society like this. We need to act. We need to work together. We need to stick together. And we need to keep our kids safe in schools and out of schools. I'll be good. You be lucky. And I'll see you soon. Do the likey subscribing. Do share, please. These videos, they're quite important to me. And leave comments in the comment section and stuff like that. And if you didn't like it, you've already left. Trick I learned, actually. Um, hopefully you did. All the best. Bye.